a genetic examination of skeletal remains discovered at an archaeological location in central Germany definitively demonstrates that modern humans, Homo sapiens, had arrived in northern Europe 45,000 years in the past, coexisting with Neanderthals for numerous millennia prior to the extinction of the latter. The results confirm that the location near Ranus, Germany, renowned for its delicately crafted leaf-shaped stone tool blades, ranks as one of the earliest verified sites of modern human Stone Age culture in north-central and northwestern Europe. The proof that Homo sapiens and Homo neanderthalensis coexisted aligns with genomic data indicating that the two species sporadically mingled genetically. This further supports the theory that the encroachment of modern humans into Europe and Asia around 50,000 years ago contributed to the demise of Neanderthals, who had inhabited the region for over 500,000 years. The genetic examination, combined with archaeological and isotopic studies and radiocarbon dating of the Ranis site, is elaborately presented in three scholarly articles published in the journals Nature and Nature Ecology and Evolution. The stone blades at Ranus, known as leaf points, bear resemblance to stone tools discovered at various locations in Moravia, Poland, Germany, and the United Kingdom. These artifacts, believed to have been crafted by the same cultural group, are identified as the Lincombian Renesian Jasmanovitsia N. LRJ culture or techno complex. Due to prior dating efforts, it was established that the Ranus site dates back to 40,000 years ago or earlier. However, in the absence of identifiable bones to determine the creators of the tools, it remained uncertain whether they were the work of Neanderthals or Homo sapiens. The recent discoveries reveal that Homo sapiens were the creators of this technology and that Homo sapiens had reached this far north during this time frame, which is 45,000 years ago, according to Elena Zavala, one of the four lead authors of the Nature article and a Miller Research Fellow at the University of California, Berkeley. Hence, these represent some of the earliest Homo sapiens in Europe. Zavala was pursuing her PhD at the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology, MPI EVA, in Leipzig in 2018, when she initiated her involvement in the project, a significant initiative led by Jean-Jacques Hublin, the former head of the Institute and a professor at the Collège de France in Paris. The Ranis cave site offers proof of the initial spread of Homo sapiens across the higher latitudes of Europe. It appears that stone artifacts previously believed to have been made by Neanderthals were actually elements of the early Homo sapiens toolkit, as suggested by Hublin. This significantly alters our former understanding of the era. Homo sapiens arrived in northwestern Europe well in advance of the Neanderthal extinction in southwestern Europe. Zavala performed the genetic analysis on hominid bone fragments unearthed from recent and more profound excavations at Ranus between 2016 and 2022, as well as from earlier digs in the 1930s. Due to the highly fragmented nature of DNA in ancient bones, she utilized specialized methods to extract and sequence the DNA, focusing exclusively on mitochondrial DNA, mtDNA, which is passed down from the mother it was verified that the bone fragments were indeed from Homo sapiens. Notably, several pieces shared identical mitochondrial DNA sequences, even those from different excavation periods, as discovered with the study. This suggests that the fragments came from the same individual or their maternal kin, connecting these recent discoveries to those made several decades earlier. Initially, the bone fragments were recognized as human through the analysis of bone proteins, a discipline known as paleoproteomics, by another leading author, Dorothea Mylopotamitaki, a doctoral candidate at the Collège de France and formerly associated with MPI-EVA. By comparing mitochondrial DNA sequences from the Ranus site with those from human remains at other Paleolithic locations in Europe, Zavala managed to map out a lineage tree of early Homo sapiens throughout Europe. Remarkably, all but one of the 13 Ranus fragments bore a close resemblance to each other and were similar to mtDNA from the 43,000-year-old skull of a woman found in a cave at Zlatikun in the Czech Republic. The singular differing fragment aligned with an individual from Italy. This prompts several questions. Were these people part of a single population? How are they related, scientists pondered. However, with mitochondrial DNA, we're only seeing one aspect of the story, the maternal lineage. 
To delve deeper into these connections, we'd need nuclear DNA. Zavala's expertise lies in examining DNA from bones that have been buried for extensive periods, from bone tools and from sediment. Her investigation of sediment samples collected from different strata within the Ranus excavation site revealed DNA from a wide variety of mammals, yet none from hominids. This analysis, when integrated with morphological, isotopic, and proteomic studies of the bone fragments, offers a vivid depiction of the environment of that era and the dietary habits of both humans and animals that inhabited the cave throughout the ages. The discovery of bones from reindeer, cave bears, woolly rhinoceroses, and horses, for instance, signifies the cold weather conditions characteristic of steppe tundra, akin to those in Siberia and northern Scandinavia today, and indicates a human diet that relied heavily on large land mammals. The study deduced that the cave was predominantly occupied by hibernating cave bears and denning hyenas, with humans only making temporary visits. This sparse archaeological footprint aligns with other Lincombian Renesian Jesmanovitia N sites and is most plausibly attributed to brief utilitarian visits by small nomadic bands of pioneering Homo sapiens, as stated in one of the studies featured in Nature Ecology and Evolution. This demonstrates that these early bands of Homo sapiens spreading throughout Eurasia possessed some ability to adapt to severe weather conditions, stated Sarah Pedazzani, a postdoctoral researcher at the University of La Laguna in Spain, who spearheaded the paleoclimate investigation of the site. Until not long ago, the capacity to endure cold climate conditions was believed to emerge much later, making this a captivating and unexpected finding. The Ranus location, known as Ilsenhul and situated at the foot of a castle, was initially dug primarily from 1932 to 1938. The leaf-shaped points discovered there were eventually dated to the last phases of the Middle Paleolithic era, spanning from about 300,000 to 30,000 years ago, or the onset of the Upper Paleolithic, which started around 50,000 years ago. Given the significance of the Ranis site in shedding light on the LRJ techno-complex and the transition from the late Middle Paleolithic associated with Neanderthals to the modern human Upper Paleolithic in Central Europe, Hublin and his team resolved to undertake a re-excavation of the site employing contemporary archaeological methods. The updated excavation efforts reached down to the bedrock, approximately eight meters beneath the surface, and included the removal of a stone presumably dislodged from the cave ceiling that had obstructed the earlier dig. In this area, Hublin's team discovered flakes from flint tools and a piece of quartzite that align with the LRJ techno-complex. Following proteomic analysis of the thousands of bone fragments that were retrieved, it was confirmed that four of these were from hominids. Additionally, of the bone fragments found during the excavations in the 1930s, nine were identified as hominid in origin. Zavala's subsequent DNA analysis verified that all 13 of these bone fragments originated from Homo sapiens. The research team also implemented radiocarbon dating techniques on human and animal bones extracted from various strata within the site to piece together its chronological history, paying special attention to bones showing signs of human modifications on their surfaces. This approach helped to tie the dating of these bones directly to the presence of humans in the cave. Scientists discovered a very strong correlation between the radiocarbon dates of the Homo sapiens bones from both sets of excavations and with modified animal bones from the LRJ strata of the new dig, establishing a robust connection between the human remains and the LRJ. The findings indicate that Homo sapiens were intermittently using the site from as early as 47,500 years ago, shared another lead author, Helen Fulus, a former researcher at Max Planck, who is currently a European Molecular Biology Organization, EMBO, postdoctoral fellow at the Francis Crick Institute in London. The findings from Ilsen Hurler in Ranus have significantly altered our understanding of the chronological and settlement patterns of Europe north of the Alps, Scientists from the Thuringian State Office for the Preservation of Historical Monuments and Archaeology in Weimar, Germany, also contributed to the discussion. The findings discussed, including the genetic analysis of bone fragments, the identification of Homo sapiens' presence 
in northern Europe 45,000 years ago, and the detailed study of stone tools and environmental conditions contributes significantly to our understanding of the interaction between Neanderthals and Homo sapiens. They support the idea that these two species not only coexisted in Europe for a substantial period, but also suggest there was significant level of interaction between them, such as consensual interbreeding as they could not have coexisted and co-inhabited same locations at same time while being at war with each other. The evidence of Homo sapiens being in Northern Europe earlier than previously thought and the overlap period with Neanderthals being longer than earlier estimations has been groundbreaking. This study shows how much more needs to be explored about our long misunderstood ancient relatives, the Neanderthals. Please like and subscribe for more such videos.